Hi guys. Well, unbelievably, <clears throat> for the next few minutes at least, we have a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. Here in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm, where we have now stumbled into Monday morning. It is a Monday morning here in the end times. That would be September 13th, 2021. The little dog says it is too hot in this sun for this... Uh, for him to join us, so he's hanging out in the shade. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to uh, read this damn glossy screen. Uh, so I just found out I have been sprung from YouTube jail. You know, I have been in serving my 90 day sentence in YouTube jail. I think, if I recall, my crime getting me thrown into YouTube jail three months ago was I was simply reporting on three stories from uh, NPR about the corona panic. And I got ripped down for medical misinformation for 90 days. So uh, now that I'm back out of jail, uh, I guess I can talk about corona panic for a couple of days uh, before I get ripped down again, but, uh, so, uh, anyway, you might have seen this today. This is in several places in the mainstream media. The fourth biggest story on the planet today, finally, some good news about the corona panic. Why the hell didn't I think of this, guys? Hospital to stop delivering babies after employees quit rather than get the corona panic vaccine. Hallelujah, you know, 12 years I have been down here uh, being a, uh, you know, working for the New World Order, uh, you know, spreading their depopulation agenda propaganda. And it never occurred to me Finally, thank you, the, these uh, nurses uh, refusing to get this damn corona panic vaccine. Uh, finally, the way to solve the overpopulation crisis. Stop delivering the little fuckers. Just make them stay there in the fucking oven. Hallelujah. Stop delivering babies. We have saved the planet. And it all started with this brilliant idea from anti-vaxxers saving the planet. Uh, hallelujah. This is right here in the great state of New York. We're going to start a worldwide trend. A hospital in northern New York will stop delivering babies later this month because too many maternity workers resigned their jobs rather than get a mandated corona panic vaccine. Hallelujah. Seven of 30 employees uh, who resigned from the hospital rather than get a corona panic vaccine worked in the maternity department. Yes. Uh, quote, we are unable to safely staff the service, you know, the baby delivering service after September 24th, the number of resignations received leaves us no choice but to pause, to pause delivering babies at Lewis County General Hospital. Yes. So there you go. We have finally come up with the most sensible uh, idea I have ever heard. And you know, sometimes the, the, the solution to a problem is so simple. It's right there in front of our faces. 
You know, and I had some crazy idea that we had to sterilize the human race to stop the uh, biggest threat against the planet. We don't have to sterilize anybody. Hell, I never had to go through uh, getting a vasectomy. I just, it, we simply stop delivering babies. And I am proud to be in New York, baby. We're the new trend, and we can thank those COVIDiot uh, health practitioner anti-vaxxers uh, for starting this new trend. But anyway, I just wanted to, anyone who acts like uh, I never have good news to share or to uh, propose solutions, you heard it first on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Three cheers for a hospital refusing to deliver babies. But as long as we are on a corona panic roll, uh, just one more. And the Los Angeles Times, this is a book length article. I'm just going to read a, uh, a few quips of it. So, of course, you know, the universe giveth and the universe taketh away. So, uh, how is the corona panic playing out in uh, California? We are souping up our rides. The neighbors are furious. It's not your imagination. This is the LA Times. It's not your imagination that driver at the stoplight is revving his engine so loudly it can set off car alarms. Then the roar, then he roars off as the signal turns green, even if it's just to the next stoplight. Yes, like some sort of corona panic inspired primal scream. This flooring, the pedal to the metal thing is happening all over. That is because a global semiconductor shortage is making new cars scarce and low inventory is making used cars expensive. So people with time and money are sinking them into their older rides and some are making them as fast and loud as possible. Sales of parts to make vehicles faster, flashier, and sometimes much noisier were a major contributor to the recent $48 billion, $48 billion 2020 sales year for California's aftermarket automotive industry, the largest of its kind in the U.S. Um, for enthusiasts spending more money on their dream projects has represented a psychological refuge from the corona panic's isolation and uncertainty. Yes. This is uh, one of these trade organizations, Vice President Mike Spangle, quote, why people, while people could not travel, while they could not spend money in hotels and on food, because they could not get out and do concerts and all those sorts of things, men and women, put some of their time and effort into their cars and trucks. Yes. And then I guess they visit one of these souping up auto shows, interviewing all of these clueless fucking morons, talking about uh, how they, the best way to get over corona panic stress soup up those cars and start drag racing. Oh, Jesus, guys, it's never ending, but uh, 
if we just stop delivering babies, maybe we will have no more clueless fucking morons souping up their cars to, uh, to get over the mental stress of living under lockdown. So you better believe we can look forward to more souped up cars until it is mandated that uh, you are not allowed to get into your gas sucking car. Uh, not sure that mandate is on the drawing board, but it probably will be. But speaking of getting in your gas sucking truck, I need to get in my gas sucking truck and go out for a ride on this beautiful day while I still can in my not so souped up gas sucking truck get out there and burn some fossil fuels while you still can because I guess in uh, New York now gasoline powered cars and trucks will be illegal starting I have 14 more years to drive around in my gas sucking truck before gasoline powered vehicles are illegal in the state of New York so 14 years, but I should be dead well before then with any luck. Bye guys.